we're still in the 12 week year. We will be for quite a while now. And I want to talk to you today about accountability as ownership. I, I shared with you yesterday that we would get to accountability today. So here we go. Um, I've heard individuals who truly desire to perform better say, I just need someone to hold me accountable. I think I've probably said that, and I'm sure you have. And a lot of you have come to me with, I need someone to hold me accountable. And I just want to give you a different way of looking at this. Change the way you look at things, things you look at change. It is a mistaken notion that accountability is something that can and must be imposed. That's not accountability, that's consequences. You can hold your children accountable, there's consequences. I have a job, I'm accountable to Alan Waxman, the OP of Keller Williams Coral Springs. Alan can hold me accountable as in he can fire me if I don't do my job. That's consequences, that's not accountability. We got this word all sideways. It's impossible to hold someone else accountable. Accountability is not consequences, but ownership. Accountability is when I own the results. That's accountability. When I own the standards. We talked yesterday about keeping score, and we talked about what would be on our scoreboard as we're keeping score. And accountability is holding yourself, wrong choice of words, it's owning those numbers. It's owning the standards. If the standard is 20 conversations and you're keeping score and, this, and, and the number that you've committed to, big, big important word there, committed to, you own 20 conversations. Nobody's holding you accountable to that. You own it. That's, that's the difference. It is a character trait a life stance, a willingness to own your actions and results regardless of the circumstances. Really important part there. Regardless of the circumstances. I own the results regardless of the circumstances. If one of my standards is I don't go home, or if you're lead generating from home, I don't stop lead generation until I've scheduled at least one face-to-face -face appointment every day. Now, five o'clock rolls around and you have something planned for 5.30 and you haven't scheduled an appointment yet, it's Owning your actions and, regard, and results regardless of the circumstances. Meaning, I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'm going to miss that 530, whatever it is that I had planned. I don't go because I own the results regardless of the circumstances. Each and every one of us has Freedom of choice. It's a choice whether or not you own the results, you own the standards, you either choose to do or you choose not to do, but it's a choice. Success is a choice. Failure is a choice. Which one are you going to choose? There are no have tos in life. Every morning we have huddled, the executive leadership team here in Coral Springs meets and we talk about our day. And one of the members of the executive leadership team is sharing her day. You'll know who it is, who cares? Sorry, Brittany, I love you. <laughs> is sharing her day and she's sharing everything that's on her list. I have to do this, 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 I have to do this. Well, that's just a habit, it is. Most of the time when we do that, we don't even know we're doing it. And I said, whoa, 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 wait, time out. Let's stop for a moment. Let's take half two out of the conversation. Now share your day with me. 
well, I'm doing this, I get to do this, I get to do this, I get to do this. Okay, that's better. What feels better? I have to make 20 conversations or I get to make 20 conversations. I get to, or I'm going to. Have to, sounds like punishment to me. There are no have to's. Have to's are those things we hate to do, but do anyways. I have to go to the gym. Ugh. I have to go run. And it's 180 degrees outside and 98% humidity. Sorry, I live in South Florida. A little bit of an exaggeration, but that's what it feels like. There are no have to's in life. Have to's are those things we hate to do, but do anyway because we have to. Accountability is not consequences, it's ownership. The only thing you control are your thinking and your actions. The only thing you control is how you think and the actions you take. But those are enough if you are willing to own them. If you are willing to own how you think, if you are willing to own the actions you take, it's enough. When you when you understand that true accountability is about choice and taking ownership of your choices, everything changes. Everything changes. You move from resistance to empowerment, from limits to possibilities, and from mediocrity to greatness. The only person who can hold you accountable for anything is who? You. you. The only person who can hold you accountable is who? Yourself. You. <laughs> and to be successful, you must develop the mental honesty and courage to own your thinking, actions, and results. You must develop the mental honesty and courage to own your thinking, actions, and results. When you're not hitting your goals, You can look in the mirror and say, the reason I'm not hitting my goals is looking me back in the mirror. It's because of me. That's a good thing. Because can you change you? Say yes. Now, if it was because of your spouse or it was because of the economy, if it was because of the weather, if it was because of your neighbor, if it was because of the president, if it was because of the government, if it was because of anything else other than you, you would be a what? You'd be a victim. And anytime you find yourself blaming anybody or anything other than you, for the results that you want or for the lack of results that you want, you're being a what? A victim. Next time you hear somebody talking victim talk, just do this. Just look at them and do this. They're gonna go, what? What, what are you doing? And just, you're, you're being a victim. So I'm just you're giving you the victim sign. Sorry. Okay, talk to me. What'd you hear? John. I heard a couple things, you know, it's like.